Hello everyone, welcome to the Morrowind Book Club. Today we're reading Frontier Conquest. Frontier Conquest and Accommodation, a social history of Cyrodiil Universities of Gwimlin Press, 3rd Era 344. Let us begin. Historians often portray the human settlement of Tamriel as a straightforward process of military expansion of the Nords of Skyrim. In fact, human settlers occupied nearly every corner of Tamriel before Skyrim was even founded. These so-called Neic peoples include the proto cyrodelians the ancestors of the Bretons, the aboriginals of Hammerfell, and perhaps a now-vanished human population of Morrowind. That's interesting. Strictly speaking, the Nords are simply another of these Neic peoples, the only one that failed to find a method of peaceful accommodation with the elves who already occupied Tamriel. Ysgrimor was certainly not the first human settler in Tamriel. In fact, in fleeing civil war in Admora, as the Song of Return states, Ysgrimor was following a long tradition of migration from Admora. Tamriel had served as a safety valve for Admora for centuries before Ysgrimor's arrival. Malcontents, dissidents, rebels, landless younger sons, all made the difficult, difficult crossing from Atmora to the New World of Tamriel. New archaeological excavations date the earliest human settlements in Hammerfell, High Rock, and Cyrodiil at uh, ME 800 to 1000. What is ME? Is that like Age of Myth? Myth era 800 to 1000? I'm not sure what that M means. Okay. Uh, centuries earlier than Ysgrimor, even assuming that the 12 Nord kings prior to Harald were actual historical, uh, historical figures. The Nidic peoples were a minority in a land of elves and had no choice but to live peacefully with the elder race. In High Rock, Hammerfell, Cyrodiil, and possibly Morwind, they did just that, and the Nidic peoples flourished and expanded over the last centuries of the Merithic, Merithic era. There we go. That, that's, that, that's what the ME stands for. I, I, I'm always asking questions in these things, and then it usually explains it later. But not always. Uh, which is why I ask questions. Not, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Only in Skyrim did this accommodation break down, an event recorded in the Song of Return. Perhaps, being close to reinforcements from Atm Atmora, the Proto-Nords did not feel it necessary to submit to the authority of the Skyrim Elves. Indeed, the early Nord Chronicles note that under King Harald, the first historical Nord ruler in the First Era, 113 to 221, the Atmoran mercenaries returned to their homeland, following the consolidation of Skyrim as a centralized kingdom. Whatever the case, the pattern was set. In Skyrim, expansion would proceed militarily, with human settlement following the frontier of conquest, and the line between human territory and elven territory was relatively clear. But beyond this zone of conflict, the other Nidic peoples continued to merge with their elven neighbors. When the Nord armies of the First Empire finally entered High Rock and Cyrodiil, they found Bretons and proto Cyrodiils already living there among the Elves. Indeed, the Nords found it difficult to distinguish between Elf and Breton. The two races had already intermingled to such a degree. The arrival of the Nord armies upset the balance of power between the Nidic peoples and the Elves. Although the Nords' expansion into High Rock and Cyrodiil was relatively brief, less than two centuries, the result was uh, decisive. From then on, power in those regions shifted from the elves to the humans. That's interesting. This whole book's kind of interesting. It kind of paints the... It kind of paints the, the Nords as, like, the reason why we might even have the Empire. Like, I don't know. It's early. Maybe I'm misinterpreting this. I'll re read it over a little bit more. Um, maybe you can leave your thoughts in the comment section, you know, while you're hitting either the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Um, whatever you, whatever you decide, whatever your interpretation might be, you know, while you're thinking about it, um, you know, while you're writing up your very thoughtful comment, um, while you're doing that simultaneously, you know, with, with your other, you know, two hands that you have, the ones that you're not using to type stuff, uh, I'd like to ask you all to, uh, game on.